Hi friends, happy Friday. How we doing? So hello, if you're new here, I'm live tonight on Fridays, but um, it is also recorded so you can watch at your viewing pleasure whenever you like. But I wanna say uh, hello to our friends that are here. Hi, Vicki, won't be able to stay tonight. You're packing for your trip to Canada. Very exciting. Welcome to Canada when you get here. It's a very casual night because I've been working my bums off, my bums, my butt, my buns off. So um, I said to Rich, I'm not going to attempt to uh, do my hair. I'm just going to leave my hat on and come in because tonight is going to be very relaxed and fun with some printmaking. So hello. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Robin, Holly, Tammy. Hi, friends. How are you? Um, oh, good. There's some Facebook people here, too. So I know everything's working. Hi, Catherine. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm the happiest camper tonight, right? Happiest camper. Hi, Irene. How are you? It's going to be fun tonight. So tonight is going, it's probably quiet. This is like major holiday season, right? Vacationing season. So I just wanted to keep it easy tonight and it'll be a part two. So tonight we're just going to make some really simple gel plate backgrounds. And then we're going to do some stamping and die cutting and a whole bunch of fun things next week to make cards, cards, tags. Uh, you can make pocket inserts. If you're into pocket scrapbooking, whatever you want to do, uh, can't watch YouTube full screen on my iPad to see. So you move to uh, Facebook. Hello. How's everybody doing? Do you guys have a good week? Saturday morning. It's your Saturday morning ritual. Where are you watching from, Tracy? Are you in Australia or New Zealand? Hi, I can't, I can't believe it's already August either. I can't believe it's already August. I don't know where the time's, con time's gone. I'm going to tell you what I've been doing this week. So I did a whole bunch of inventory. I, uh, received three pallets of product so everything is here for my friends that are going to be cruising with me in october very excited we just kitted kitted up the um cruise kits and i'm going to start the facebook group next week and you'll be getting a newsletter from cruising crop as well with details and meet and greet details because it's getting so close so that's going to be happening and guess what the majority of evergreen and holly the christmas kit has arrived and you guys have been placing your orders like crazy for our weekend event i do still have kits left so a uh, sample will be coming soon for some of you that sit on the fence and you aren't too sure if it's something you're going to want to do um when i'm done my cleaning and everything organizing for the next two weeks i'll start working on that so very excited about that um but be watching tonight it's, it's probably already gone live. I added a whole bunch of the things I'm using tonight on vickybooten.com. I put gel plates up. I put paper. I put some V-Boo stenc stencils that have been um, retired for a while or up there. More are going to be added as I find them. So I found things. I added them tonight. And then I pulled a whole stack of that stuff. The uh, Dina Wakely uh, collage paper is added because I think I'm going to use that tonight. So just... Be ready. Lots of things are coming. So if you're here tonight, you're getting the lowdown. The other thing a lot of you guys were asking about the kit that I created on the last cruise, the European cruise. So we created this lovely travel album. It will be going up next week. I'm going to finish kitting it because I, oops, stuff has fallen out of it. I, uh, need to finish putting all of the pieces up on or it in the kit bags because it's huge the kits huge so it's going to be going up if you emailed me about that you're going to be the first ones that i reach out to like look at this page things are falling out so just give me a second um really fun interactive bits in this one we did i'm going to show you the layout so i want you to know i think i only have about 20 of these so when it goes up and it's gone, it's gone. It will never be created again. Okay. So if you're looking for a kit, it this one uses the crate paper travel collection and the new Heidi swap. But look at just, I'm going to show you this page because I love it. 
it's beautiful. This kit's huge. And I think there are, I have a kit for you, Natalie. I know. Um, for my friends that were on the cruise, I think somebody's out there. I think I saw somebody's name. They'll tell you this was a huge one. But just look at this page. I love it. Ready? So this is a fun one. Doop. Doop. And doop. Very hard to do. But this one is going to be going up. I didn't do that right. Um, next week. So for some of you guys that have been waiting for this one, it's going up. All of the little circles I punched are falling out of it. There will be one that's already pre-cut. So let me know right away if you want the one where all of the hard work has been done and you just get to do all the fun assembly. And then there are layouts for that one. So I want to share because I talked about it a while ago. What I will do as well is I'm not going to include the die cuts, but I'll send you the cut file for those from my lovely friend, Nicole Nosad from Just Nick uh, Studio. She did a couple and then a couple I did myself because they were uh, specific to the ports we went to. But it's fun. There are, I don't know, I think nine or 10 layouts in this kit. So it will be going up. If you did, Elisa's here. She knows she's working on it tonight. I love that. So if you sent me an email, like I said, I will email you guys first from vickybooten.com. No, vickybootenkits at gmail.com. Um, you guys did message me. I have a whole list. I will email you guys first. You'll get first dibs because you did reach out. And then I'll post them up on the website. Okay, so uh, just to let you know, it's all coming. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, you like my ball cap tonight? I'm telling you, I have been working like, and it's hot as Hades outside, but we have been just, it, it has been fast and furious in the Vicky Booten headquarters. So lots of fun. Any questions, my friends? Uh, thank you for your positive attitude. You make my day. Thank you, Jennifer. I love what I do. Seriously love what I do. If you meet me, you will see that what you get here, Elise can tell you, I'm going to bend down because I've got some issues, right? And I dropped all these on the floor. Well, I'll, I'll just move them. I don't have to. Vicky, it's okay, Vicky. You can leave them there for right now. It's okay. Um, if you've met me in person, you will know that what you see here on our, during our classes, during my videos is pretty much what you get probably times 10. But uh, yeah, it's bad hair day today. No bad hair day. I've been working. So it's just a hat because it's hot outside. So you can't do your hair and sweat like crazy because you've been working, getting the kits ready and the Christmas stuff ready and organizing um, the grab boxes that are going to be in the next two weeks. Watch for a newsletter because when it's all ready to go live, I will give you a couple days notice and that will go live. Uh, but I went through, I have distress inks, like crate, like just tons of stuff that I used to bring to classes that I'm going to be putting in the grab boxes. I have retired class kits. I have collection packs. Like there are going to be a huge number of grab boxes coming. It's going to be good. So if you are newer to paper crafting or you have a tight budget or um, you're trying to grow your stash, you're going to want to watch for those boxes because it literally will. I'm not in it to make a ton of money off of them. It's more just to help pay my son who's helping me kit all of them. So I'm going to be putting tons of stuff together. So question, will there be instructions for the cruise kit? Yes. Yes. Now they are not super detailed instructions, but there are cutting diagrams. There are images I'm going to, because they told me at the cruise that I needed some more details for where the stickers come from. I'm going to add to that, but there's no video for it. It is literally cutting diagram and images because uh, to sell like 30 kits, I'm not going to um, film a seven hour video, but you'll have all of the information there. And you know, if you've done one of my classes before, the kits are huge. I think there are four ephemera packs, like multiple stickers, stickers, tons of paper. It's a bigger kit than what I kit when I'm doing all this other stuff. So it'll be good. Okay. Um, any questions? What is the email for the album again? Vicky Booten kits at gmail.com. 
And like I said, first come, first serve. The grab boxers are coming. It's it's going to be good. Everything I've been promising you is coming. My store is going to be restocked. Lots of fun things are coming. And then, oh my goodness, craziness. Christmas kit is going to go out this month, in the month of August. I know. Is your mind blown? Because guess what? Print shop ships on aug the end of August. <laughs> so I've just got to keep everything moving. I figure both of those kits our weekend event packs will be shipped by the end of September, first week of October. So it, it's just going to blow your mind. Just blow your mind how organized I'm going to be. So it's so great. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Yeah, a ray of sunshine with my hat. I put my little earrings on. Hi, Adam. How are you? I emailed you. I have lots of uh, our UK friends are reaching out. So you're going to be hearing from me lots. Question, did you decide on the first? Um it is it has to be carla the first weekend of december because every other weekend i'm either occupied or there are other events going on so it is 100 percent for evergreen and holly uh weekend event will be the first weekend in december okay um and make sure you're going to be want to watch that kit and I just ordered a whole bunch of uh, fun things that are going to go in the little bonus pack. And don't worry, Natalie and Michelle, if you're out there, I got your back. Going to take care of that. It's your birthday. Oh, my goodness. Everybody say happy birthday to Adam. It's his birthday. I love that. Anybody else celebrating anything this weekend or this past week? Look at I'm so excited. I'm talking really fast. But if you're watching after the fact, this is what we do. Friday nights is a good catch up. I let you know what's going on in the VBU studio, what's going on in my life. And then we get down to it. And tonight is fun. We're going to be doing some gel plate printing. I'm going to slow down so I can actually speak, but it'll be great. But happy birthday, Adam, my sweet friend. I hope you're doing something awesome. I hope you're doing something awesome because uh, you deserve all the best. Uh, you're headed to a rodeo. That's so exciting, Pam. I love it. Look at all these birthday wishes, Adam. I hope you're feeling the love. Lorena, um, birthday was on Wednesday. Happy birthday. Your 20th wedding anniversary is on Sunday. Happy anniversary, Tammy. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, any questions before we get started? Because I'm going to flip the camera. Happy birthday, Shirley. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the mess that I have on my desk and the paints this is i just i selected just some stuff just some right just some um so that we can do some things Catherine's recouping from her surgery this week just to watch tonight well you take care of yourself and get better soon but i think right oh and dale happy birthday dale you don't have a gel plate so um i just listed some brenda in my web on my website so, oh, if you're, there's really, this is very specific to the technique I'm doing tonight. Um, you could do some stencil stamping, but this product is very special. The results we get from it are very unique. It's like a lot of times I can give you suggestions for other things that you can use. Tonight, it's kind of very based on uh, printmaking and gel plate. So, um, sorry, but this will be something, if you've been thinking about it, that will help you decide if it's something for you. Uh, but I love my gel plate and haven't had it out enough. So we're doing that tonight. Oh no, Debbie, take care of yourself as well. Debbie's uh, recouping from surgery as well. Okay, hi Leanne. Um, I've been hanging out for the last three days oh, doing the Spectrum Sherbert, Sherbet. I love that. Oh, another thing that's going to happen is I kitted up a whole bunch of leftover um, sweet rush that are just like paper packs, the coordinating card stock. Um, I did some spectrum sherbet pieces that I have left kitted up. So card making. So watch for those. They're going to be going up as well when I send out that newsletter. So little grab grab bags. They're not class oriented, but I'm going to be using some of them on Friday nights. Very limited numbers, like 10, 15 pieces of some of them. 
So again, if you're just looking for some fun stuff to play with those, I kitted, that's another thing I did this week, kind of took all the loose pieces that I have left and put it into kind of Vicky organized. If I was going to shop my stash, what I would put in a bag. So those are coming as well. Okay. Um, hit that like button. Thank you very much, friends. I'm going to flip the camera. Let's do the things. Uh, you'll order the larger gel plate. What do you have, Pamela? So the one I'm using tonight is 8x10 because I think it's perfect for card making. I do have all of the sizes of gel plate. I have big, huge gel plates. I have the little 5x7. I have the minis. But I really like if you want just kind of you're going to just have one gel plate. I think the 8x10 is a good size to have uh, because most stencils will fit on it. Most of your stencils will fit on it. So I think that's super helpful. I do love my 12 by 12 as well for doing scrapbook backgrounds, like full sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So either of those are awesome. When will the kits hit online for purchase? I'll send an email out. Um, I have a lot of work, like all week I worked. So it's just a matter of, again, one Vicky doing it all because I have to get them photographed and then posted in my shop. So in the next two weeks, could be next week. It might not be till the week after, but I want to clear out as much of the stuff as I can so I can make room for all the fun things we're going to be doing for the rest of the year. And oh my goodness, I had some awesome ideas for next year. So I've got a lot of things that are coming down the pipeline. You have a four by six. Yeah. Um, it's great, but for all of the amazing things we can do on the gel plate, I feel like a bigger work surface is not a bad thing. You can do so many amazing things with it. So never heard of gel plate. I love it, Sherry. Like, love it. There's probably for mixed media and doing fun, really relaxing, artful techniques. A gel plate is really where it's at. So I am going to flip the camera and we're going to get started. So if there's any questions, how do you sign up for the newsletter? Go to VickiBooten.com, Brenda, and you'll see a pop-up window and you just sign up there and it goes right into my constant contact. And then I can, all my devices are plugged in, Julie. You'd be very proud of me. Make sure it's on. Yep. My yeah, it's on. See, the light went off. So we're good. Thank you. Okay, flipping the camera. Here we go. Look at all my stuff. All my stuff is on here. Oh, that's awesome, Val. She says, all Friday night since January completed, plus the Spectrum Sherbet class is completed. Was glad to have catch-up time while you were away. That's awesome. Good for you. I don't think I'll ever be caught up because even all those Friday night lives that we do, I could do probably 20 different things with them. Don't you agree? Like, I really would like to do, we have to talk about classes that you guys would find worthwhile because what I would like to do is I really want to do something that's mixed media that, um, like, I'm not going to have a Patreon or whatever, but we could do where we have a private group where it is like a maybe a monthly thing where we do a couple classes a month doing mixed media and like making something fun and special. We'll have to think on that because I really, really want to start doing more. And I think classes that are just like not a lot of money, but um, full of tons of content and information would be a lot of fun. You pulled out your storyteller tag book to finish. Oh, Julie, thank you. That was a great thing. So I've kitted up Sweet Rush tag books, everything I'm going to use. I think I have about 25 of those. That's going to go up. Um, there's so much. Like there was so much stuff out there and I just put it in instead of just putting all in as loose uh, open stock stuff in my shop. I thought if I put it in kind of a curated little kit, that it would be fun. So thanks for reminding that me. Um, best time is time gel plate printing. I agree, Diane. I freaking love this thing. Uh, so that's so good. Okay. <sighs> I think a mixed media class would be a lot of fun, right? Don't, don't you? I think it'd be a lot of fun. So brayers, you need brayers tonight. This is uh, my favorite style is the speedball ish style with the rubber piece that goes in here easy to clean lots of control i love this size 
So um, you need some rayers tonight. This is a gel plate that I'm going to be using. Very well loved. Eight by 10. I am going to work on my craft mat, but you don't want it to move around while you're working. So I'm gonna tape it down. And here's the tape. So that's what I have here. So we're gonna do a couple things for prep. So I have my craft mat down here. I have two of them. So I have work surface and we're gonna tape that down. The paintbrush sets are coming. I know Sonia, I got your email and you are on the list. I will not forget you. I've been going through, you'd be very happy to know. I've been going through all of the emails you guys have sent me. I got so much stuff accomplished this week and I will be following up if you haven't heard back from me, all of the things it's coming. I've done spreadsheets and uh, made notes, filled my calendar. I will be on the ball, but I have the paintbrush sets that Sonia's talking about this one. Oops, I just dropped a whole bunch of oil pastels on the floor is going to be going up on my website as well when I do the, the restock. But I'm waiting till I get everything inventoried and put it all up at once. So you don't order one thing and then like a week later I put something new up and you're like, oh man, I wish that would have been in my order. So I feel like if I get it all ordered or all up there on at the same time and you want to place an order it can all go in one box trying to save you guys money because i know the shipping stuff is expensive and no fun at all i have to pick these oil pastels up so just give me a second i dropped them on the floor they're probably all over the place okay so by doing this now um when i go and i brayer my backdrop isn't gonna melt melt move mm -hmm. Vicky's having trouble tonight. Did you like that? It's not going to melt. And now let's get just a cheap piece of printer paper. I'm going in my drawer of paper. I have a lot of them. Did you like that? I just said it's not going to melt. What is wrong with you, Vicky? Okay. Hi, Paula. Is Paula here? Hello, friend. So now you see what's helpful when you put down because I'm going to be pulling prints with an eight and a half by 11 if I put an eight and a half by 11 down and my gel plate on top then I can position my paper on top and all my uh, patterns will line up that would be fun so what uh, Joanne was saying that there's something about a join button and people can there's private videos and memberships. We'll have to look at that, right? I need to learn all the things. Hello, Paula. How are you doing, my sweet friend? So I laughed because I posted yesterday the outfit I was wearing and pick which outfit. And then I laughed because I said today I needed to post a picture of, and this is the day after when you don't even comb your hair. You just put a hat on. So now I can put my plate on here doesn't have to be perfectly lined up. It's just more so I can line my pattern up. So you'll see what I mean. So if I go to pull a print and I want to line it up, I can line it up with the piece of paper underneath. Does that make sense? If you want to be really specific of how your patterns are lining up. So this is, if you can see, if you're new, so it's like a jelly but it is not like gelatin. It is um, not going to go bad like one that you would make at home. It is awesome for putting patterns on. The paint dries. You can lift it again. It is just so much fun. So I love doing gel plate printing. We're going to do that tonight. Uh, I'm going to run through some tips. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we do gel plate printing for cards? And then next week, all of the prints that we make, I'm going to show you then how to level those up. Because if you've done this with me before, you probably have a whole stack of prints that you never use. I want to give you different ways to use them. Okay. Thank you very much, Paula. So what have I pulled? So I have a whole bunch of paper. 
So I listed this in my shop because I have tons of it. And uh, it's black. It's like a black um, art paper. Uh, it's not super thin. It's just like a cardstock. We're going to try that tonight with some of the neons. So I have that one. I have just some decent white cardstock. So I have eight and a half by 11. It is, it says number 65. It's not super thick. You don't need to have super high quality paper. You could definitely do a couple of prints on your foundations paper if you have it, because it will work really well for um, die cutting and some of the other things that you're doing. And then I just have a decent white printer paper that I bought that is a heavier stock, like a card stock. So I have all of these things that are ready when we start making our prints that I can pull. We're gonna do some basic backgrounds, then we're gonna layer on top, and then we're gonna have a whole bunch of beautiful art that next week we can stamp on, we can die cut, maybe emboss, do some fun things. So just get ready for it. Tonight and next week are gonna be super califragilistic. Now, the other thing that I have, because Julie has been asking for these, and I'm like, oh, I just need to get them up in the shop. So I'm going to see a uh, print on some of these collage papers, Dina Wakely, that I added as well. And to make it easy tonight, I put everything under the gel plate section on VickyBooten.com. Okay, so the things I'm going to use, I'm going to be adding more. It's just as much as I could get up there tonight before I went live. So I thought it'd be fun. We could print on a few of these, and we could also decoupage them next week if we wanted to or moving forward i don't know if i might pull some of these like put some um prints on them and paint on them but i don't think i'll use these until maybe the following week or week after but they're up in the shop um good thing that you could order them now and have them when i do the next live doing something else with the gel plate so that's everything i pretty much have out here tonight paints i have my liquitex I have my Amsterdam's. I also have and added these in the store. The ColourPop paints in the metallics. I have some of the texture paste. I am probably going to use some of the gold and silver maybe tonight. Glaze. What else do I have? You need a good white because if we do any ghost printing tonight. This is what will lift it or a light color. Hi, Marlene. How are you? And then my brayers, paper towels and wipes have a sheet to roll off. You just need some scrap that you're going to clean your brayer on. So this would be your setup. I will move my paints over a bit because um, you need to have a fairly decent work space. Are you ready, friends? Do we have any questions before we get started? And a stack of wet paper towels. I like these to clean my brayer quick. And I'll rinse them out and use them again because I'm crazy like that. Okay, here we go. So we are not getting into super technical gel plate printing. I just thought it would be fun to do some basic things that we can then elevate with our stamps next week. The other thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to tape down here too. So I have my nice, remember, Vicky likes to do mixed media art, but I still need to have control. So this is my controlled um, kind of setup tonight. The other thing I'm going to use is because a lot of you guys have bought these things and maybe I haven't used them. So I grabbed a whole whack of stencils from my collection. So I still have these in stock, the Fernwood ones. If I have not listed them on the store, it will be the one thing I will be doing, okay, by next week. But I'm going to use the things that we have so that um, if you've bought them, I'm going to go through and use them, the Sweet Rush ones. These ones just came in the mail for my friend Lael Konkar. So this is like kicking it old school. If you've been looking for some of the old Vicky Booten stencils, I think I have five of these I added to the shop. So I have uh, both uh, Fernwood sets I'm gonna use tonight. Look at this one. 
added this one to the shop. Some of these old storyteller ones. Going to use these tonight. So everything I'm using tonight, just to keep it simple, are going to be my Vicky Booten stencils. Flutter. This is a set from um, Sweet Rush. And then this one. Oh, my goodness, friends. I just added this to the shop. So this one is from Wildflower and Honey. So if you have been looking for this one, I just added that tonight to the shop. You know if it's turquoise, it's an older one. So I'm going to use that as well. And then I also have this one. The Starstruck with the stars. So these will all be perfect for layering, okay? Yeah, I will have a bunch, Irene, of used stencils. There's going to be so much going up in that shop. So if there's something you've been looking for, you know, email me. And if I have it, I'll set it aside for you. So let's get started. I like to do some just basic backgrounds. So we have our first layer when we go to layer other art on top. So um, I am going to put some lighter colors down to start. Maybe even some darker colors because then we could put some neons and stuff on top of it. So to start and to get you warmed up, just print one color, two colors to start. And then you'll have your bases to start layering on. So biggest tip, don't put too much paint. You really want like onion skin layer. Otherwise, if you put your paper down and it moves, you have way too much paint. And I'll watch, there's lots of videos out there and I'm like, ooh, that's a, lot, that's a lot of paint. If you put too much paint on it, you're not really gel plate printing. Does that make sense? You're just picking up wet paint. So that is your biggest thing is you do not want a lot of paint. Less is more. You can always add, but it's hard to take away. So let's start. I'm going to go in with a peach. Let's go in with a peach. This color is called light portrait pink. So little squirt. You do not need a lot. Test it, play with it, and then just start moving it around. And Brayer, I'm going to fill this whole thing with a peach. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to have a nice peach pattern. Cleaning my Brayer right away. Get better organized here, Vicky Booten. And now I'm going to stand up. I'm just going to lay this on here and pick up that pretty color. So some of these two you can keep just like this. Okay. And then you just lift and you have, so I'm going to pick up what you're seeing there. See the purple you see there? That picked up off of dried paint on the plate. But look how fun that is. So there's one we can do. I'm not going to clean in between. I can put another color on. Whatever's left on there, I'll pick up. Isn't that color pretty, Natalie? I love it. Okay. Let's go in with something else. How about a yellow? Put some yellow down. See? Not very much. Look at a little dauber of paint. I pick it up and I move it around my plate just so I have an equal kind of deposit of color. And we'll do a couple of these. We can go in with two colors. We can go in with three. There we go. This is it, Nat. See it? light portrait pink that is the color of the one i just used the yellow i just used is called camdium cadmium yellow deep hue i do not care if it lifts perfectly because it can add interest so look a pretty yellow now can i tint my white paint you can try Cynthia, go for it. What are you going to tint it with? Go for it. Here, here's an idea. Like there's lots of things you do. Put a little distress ink on there. Put some white paint on it. Blend it. See what you get. And then make sure you post it on our page so I can see what you ended up with because I'm curious. I'm going to go in with the pink. 
So I still see hints of yellow on here. Let's see if I can pick it up with my pink. A little bit. Look at, I'm gonna do this, okay? I'm gonna do a band of light pink down here. Put a bit of pink here. And let's band another color, Natalie's color in the middle. Very little, very little. And here we'll have kind of like a little ombre action going on. Okay. Not going to overwork it. And watch your brayer doesn't get stuck. So sometimes I'll just flip it over. Let's lift this. Question, why am I getting lines in the paint? Your brayer. What kind of brayer are you using, Pamela? Um, it's the brayer. You're lifting paint, so just try not to overwork the paint or smooth out those lines before you lift. And don't worry about it too much. So see, I picked up that yellow on the bottom with the pink. I don't care about any of this because this is just a base piece, right? Look at, there's a fluff. <laughs> I uh, lifted from the hair that was on my plate. Be careful if you have pets. Uh, be careful if you have pets that you don't get hair on your plate. It will cut your plate and you will have that pattern forever. What color is this break? Is called medium magenta. Or when I was a kid, that would have been magneta. <laughs> That's what I call it. Do you ever clean the plate and how? Um, you can use hand sanitizer and friends I've done. There's a, I have a whole gel plate class that, um, was taught live, but you can totally sign up and do it. So it's also on vickybooten.com. Uh, I think anyone who did it right, there's lots and lots of info on there. Why use your hands when, and not the brayer to pick up the paint off the plate. You can, if you want but I don't, I can, my hand will work just as well, Julianne. But here, I'll do the next one with the brayer. You can if you want, just a matter of preference. Both will work. Hi, Krista, how are you? So let's go in with, how about a turquoise? So this color is called light blue permanent. And um, if you follow the links I posted in the, uh, if you look right below, the description of the video cherry on top does sell these paints so if you want to i'm going to do just a half sheet with that blue maybe a little band there or look it's really light on the bottom i'm going to do that it's going to pick up that pink um and use my share sale links if you're going to go shop there anyway that would be awesome and you can get for um, Julianne, you could bray her on it. You don't need to though. Do you know what I mean? Your hand will work just fine, but you t most certainly can do that as well. See, I just love the tactile side of this. I can feel that I've got all the edges of the page. Oh, I love that. So see, I only put a hint of that blue, but picked up the dirty pink that was already on my plate. Thanks, Paula. A gel plate is so much fun, right? And I put them up on, I only have a couple. I did put them up on vickybooten.com and very competitive price. So that uh, if you are going to be shopping for stencils or anything, there are a few of these plates up on my site. So what do I have? So, so far, right? I have a peach, a yellow, a pink. How about one more? I did not pull a green but let's go in with my texture paste I'm going to do this so maybe you have these at home juicy pear let's put a little bit of this on here so it is a much heavier body so you do not need much paint okay let's try it see you got to roll that one in and if I need a little bit more, which I might. Get on there. 
there. That one feels like it's drying out a little bit, but we still can use it. So just brayer your lines out. Again, not every brayer is created equally. Okay, if you're having some issues, I'm going to just go with that. That is creating a really neat pattern. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to pull this one. And then we're going to start doing some of the tricks. We're going to start doing some tricks. Okay, let's pull this. Yeah, my size is 8 by 10. But like I said, I have much bigger plates. I just find for teaching and sharing a smaller size plate, one, doesn't take as much time to create a pattern because you don't have as much of a work surface to fill. And I think because we're focusing on a gel plate for card making, that this will be perfect. Okay. Um, I can, Brenda, if the interest is there, because I know gel plates are hard to find. And if you go to some of the bigger box, they're very expensive. <gasps> Look how fun. Oh, and we got lots left on. Oh, my goodness. See? Never a mistake. I didn't lift much paint off of that. It started to dry. But let's do something really fun, and we're going to put another color down. See? Lots left on here. So now let's start with some of our adventures. I'm going to give my... Um, brayer just a quick wipe because lots of that paint stayed on there and remember it's Vicki Booten and some people don't clean any of these things but let me tell you if you don't clean your brayer and you have big chunks of paint on it that every time you use it you're going to leave the pattern of whatever the chunks of paint that are on your brayer so you can do whatever makes you happy I like to clean my tools or have one that I use that's a junky one, but the rest, like it's not perfect. This is what color it should be. And then if I just soak it in Murphy's oil soap, I totally could clean it up. But for right now, I'm all right with that. Okay. But I'm very excited because look at, there are like little, you're going to see, we're going to pick this up. Okay. Here's a question. Do you want me to pick it up with white so you can see exactly what's left on here? Or do you want me to go in with maybe a uh, yellow? Because you'll still see it, but the white will make it very, I, I feel like we need to do yellow because white, you, it, yeah, we're going to do yellow. So I asked and I'm going to do what I want anyway. Uh, what size do you recommend for scrapbooking? I'm not much of a card maker. Um, to be uh, truthful, Karina, I would say, um, here, I'll do half in white and half in yellow. I would have both sizes. I would do an 8 by 10 and I would um, get a 12 by 12. But like I said, 12 by 12 is more when I'm going to sit and build layers and tons of pattern. But for just things that I'm going to cut out, I would use this size. And I'm going to grab a lighter yellow. Okay, we'll do a different yellow. Don't forget, I have a wall of paint, friends. Because it is, to me, I would never say you have too much paint. So I'm just taking the little paint snot things off. And then we'll do some yellow on the bottom. And this one is a very light yellow. Okay, here we go. I like to stand when I gel plate print, gel print plate printing. So we have yellow on the bottom half, you need a very thin thin skim layer if you want to pick up what was on the plate before. If your paint is too thick, you cannot lift this. It just won't work. Okay. So make sure you have hardly any paint on here. So now we have kind of lemon sherbets going on here. We have a little vanilla at the top. I'm trying to get my lines out because it's just the skip on the brayer, right? And let's pick that up and we should pick all those hints of green and this will be your first. Ooh, I love it. It, it is. It's like paint snot, right? Crusty boogers. <laughs> so now get in here and rub. Oh, I hope this is going to be a fun reveal because I'm telling you this, this is magic. What happens here is magic. Okay, here we go. Yes. 
you can totally glue it down, Carla. Like, look at these are embellishments. Paint's not embellishments. I had one that was a total heart in the middle. Don't throw the things away. Let's see. We might have lifted it all and we might not have, but we will see. <sighs> Telling you, get ready for it. See, I'm peeking. And if I didn't get the corners, I'm just going to rub again. Ugh. This is what I'm talking about. So now it's lemon lime sherbet. So all that dirt and grime that was on the back of my plate, I just picked up. Can you use uh, cutting plates from a die cutting machine? No. Okay, that was, did you hear that, Vicki? No. And I'll tell you why. It's a great question, but they're sharp. Anything you put on your gel plate can't have sharp edges because you'll cut in your gel plate and you'll permanently have that shape in the gel plate. So no, okay? Only soft things. What I would do, Vicki, is cut something using those dies out of a thicker uh, paper and then put those on your plate. But don't use the um, don't use the uh, metal dies. It will totally. <laughs> it'll uh, see. I wanted you. Don't use that. Remember, I said even if I got my hair on here, and I brayer it in, the hair would cut into the gel, and you would permanently have that pattern, like never to be removed, right? Never to be removed. It would be on there. So I still see a hint of green. We're gonna pick up at some point right there. So now we're going to do some things. Okay. We're going to add some pattern through a stencil. We're going to um, lift a pattern with a stencil. Lots of things are going to happen. So try to keep up. This is where the fun starts. So if you were excited about what we just did with these, just get ready for it now, right? So these are just some bases. You still, you can use this too. And I'm going to have a little drink. And now we're going to move on to putting some pattern on these. All right, here we go. So let's do something. I think we can put pattern paint on here. We can put a stencil on it and lift the pattern through the stencil. That's one thing we can do. Let's do that. So let's just go in with, this is easy, okay? So I'm going to put paint on here, put my stencil on, we'll lift the pattern. We're gonna do two steps, okay? So pick your background and then decide what colors do you think would layer nicely on this? So what if we go in with purple? I'm gonna go in with purple on here, okay? Very little bit of paint. I'm only going to cover the top part of my plate because it's what will work with the stencil, okay? So let's go in here and put a thin layer of paint. If your paper is moving on your plate, when you put it down, you have way too much paint on there. So I even know I just got a little bit crazy with the paint. So I'm taking some of, oop, now, See, when it's paint, if it starts to set, I'm going to lift it. So don't overwork it either, okay? So let's go in and put this stencil on. Now we're going to lift the pattern through that stencil by doing this. And this, when Julianne said, why not use the brayer? Because if I use a brayer, I won't get into all of those open spots, right? So if I put my fingers through, I can lift that pattern. So there, there's one. That's simple, super simple, right? I could also go in here now and we let's just do, we'll do the things. I'm going to make it, try to make it super easy. So um, you could, let's see if we can stamp that on there now. Because just what I'm trying to do is just because the paint is wet on that, right? See if we can transfer some of that paint, which I could. So now... I'm going to, remember I have my wet. I just like to clean them. You could have your bowl with water, your plate with water, but look at if I have a big gob of paper towels, then at least I don't have acrylic paint 
That was quick. That was a quick cleanup of my stencil. Okay. Remember, it's who I am. Some people don't clean anything, but here's the reason why Vicki Booten cleans. Because I don't have like 50 million stencils or the money to buy tons of these things. So if I keep them clean, I don't have gobs of paint all in here where I lose the integrity of the pattern. So I like to keep my stencils clean. It's just how I roll. Let's see how wet this is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift it or not. If I don't lift the whole pattern, we can magically use it in the next one. Because I was talking, the paint might have dried. Let's see how wet it is. I might only get part of this pattern. I put it on the yellow background to have contrast. Oh, but I love it. Okay. So only a hint of the pattern. But I'm going to show you. You can do a lasagna pan with water. I have a sink or I just wipe it up like I did, right? So you just decide what works for you. I love that, okay? Did not lift all of it, but it's still magically on here, isn't it? So now we can go on here and um, we can just keep working. I'm gonna do a couple more things and then whatever's left on here, we're gonna lift on its own print. So from that so far, I have through the stencil where I got the dots, what was left on the plate when I lifted the stencil and I stamped with the stencil on the back. So it gave me this beautiful textured pattern, okay? So now all this purple is on here, but it's dry. Like, oh my goodness, do I wipe it off? No, we don't, but we're gonna build some pattern on here and lift it on other sheets and then lift all this pattern off, okay? So hopefully you see where we're at. We did backgrounds that were solid. We put the stencil on, right? We put, we put paint on, put the stencil on, lifted the wet paint through the stencil. I love that. That just lifted some of that paint off, which is kind of awesome. There's so many things that we can learn. Um, and now I have that pattern left. So what we're going to do next is I can build still on the bottom of this in another color. So let's decide what we would, oh, let's go in with turquoise. So we can also add pigment. So let's do that with something simple that most of you guys will have. Oh, they find us every night. Just a second here. Uh, block user. There we go. Sure, you could miss the dry paint if you wanted to, but we can do it with white paint and do our ghost print, right? I'm going to grab some bubble wrap. Wrap. Mickey always has tons of it. I'm not going to get into like super duper in depth technique y stuff because you guys have the video or the class if you want to do that. We also still have to do our part two. So now we can, you could either put paint on and lift it off or you can put paint on your bubble wrap and put it on so the difference would be if i put paint on and lift it off it will be like solid turquoise with white dots if i want to just put turquoise dots on here then i put my paint on my bubble wrap okay bubble wrap is the best right anything that will make an impression is good to use in your art. So look at this lovely color. So I'm gonna go in with turquoise, turquoise blue. It was another language at the top and it's Amsterdam. I love this one. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my little sheet here and I'm gonna brayer it on to my bubble wrap because I want to put polka dots on my bubble wrap, okay? So I'm just gonna use a strip. I'm gonna go pretty, um, I don't want to lift my pattern, so look. Okay, take that off my brayer. You could have two plates going at the same time and magic could be happening. So now look, I'm gonna add a pattern with my bubble wrap. I'm going to lift that pattern 
on to the sheet. And I'm not pressing very hard because I only want a little bit of it to come off. So there, I'm starting to build my pattern on here. But look, it's still on this mat. Okay. You could totally, with this, you do not have to put it on your gel plate. I could go on here with what's left on. And I could also just make an impression right on my artwork with my bubble wrap with that wet paint. And I can have that too. Okay. So now I'm letting this dry. I want this to dry and we're going to do our ghost print. So we want the paint that's on here to be completely dry, which I believe it is. I'm going to give my brayer a wipe. So you guys can, can you see the turquoise and the purple that's on here? It's all dry. See? Oh no, it's dry. How do I lift it? I'm going to show you. I might get a hint of it if I press my paper on here. Okay, clean sheet of paper. Let's see, will any of it lift? I might get a hint of it. Or nothing. So that does not mean we cannot make beautiful art. A ghost print is what I'm going to do right now, Francine. It's lifting what is dry on your plate. Now, you need a color that is lighter than what's on the plate. So here is, this is important. You need a color that is lighter than what's on the plate. If I go in with a darker paint, you're not going to see any of this. So you need, I would go in now with white. I could go in with a yellow. I could go in with a light pink. What do you guys want me to lift this with? And also think of some color theory. If I want these colors to stay true, I would lift this right now with white. And it will look exactly, I'm going to lift with white. I think it's a good place to start. Okay, I'm going to lift with white. I think for some of you guys that are out here and new to this, you got to get into it too. Like you are not going to be clean when you do this, but it is fun. The reason I'm going to go with white is I want you to see exactly what I'm going to lift. Okay. And then we can do the next one in a color. So you need a really good white acrylic paint for this. You need a very, very thin layer. So I'm going to put that right in the middle. And now I am going to brayer it over this dry paint. So on here is very dry. If you do this and you put your um, sheet down and nothing lifts, you had too much paint on your plate. It has to be a very thin layer to cause adhesion. So I want to adhere that paint or the uh, pattern that is already on the plate with this very thin layer of white. And it's going to stick then to my white paper. Here we go. Let's see. Standing up. I'm going to lay that down. And now you're going to rub. Okay. And I will not uh, fully lift this paper until I do some tests. I will look and make sure. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love this, guys. You're gonna see a whole bunch. I just cleaned my plate pretty much. So you're gonna see hints of other colors. So even though we use white paint, watch the magic that's gonna happen. Are you ready for the reveal? So here we go. Ugh. It's freaking awesome. Well, there we go. Everything that was sitting on my plate, that hint of green in the middle, the blue that was on here, all the dirty, snotty edges, the crusty edges on the side, and that purple we just lifted. So the white paint acted as a binder to what was on the plate and the sheet of paper. So when we lifted it up, we get all this pattern. And the other thing that I love with using acrylic, right, it can be really chunky and bumpy. By using a gel plate, you're using such thin layers of paint. For a card, this would be beautiful. Like I'm rubbing on it. There's no chunks. 
right? So remember what I said, what tonight was about is just relaxing and doing some gel plate printing. This is like, if you were gonna go to the cottage or camping or away, you could bring your gel plate, some stencils. You can find fi found objects everywhere you are, as long as there's not a sharp edge on it. And you could pull prints, right? Just pull prints. I love it. And, and we can tear the, you watch next week, what we'll do with these to make cards. Uh, would silver have worked? Maybe, maybe not. Let's do a metallic next. Okay. So I'm going to show you something. So you know how we did some things and here, let's do some things. I'm, I'm going to just show you instead of explaining it, I will show you the things. So let's find something with a big open space like the circles had open space let's where's this floral oh this could be fun too okay so i'm going to when we do this pattern i'm going to do half floral and half circle okay but we need to put pigment down so for fun let's put two different colors down i am going to put a darker base this is going to be fun get ready for it you ready let's let's go in let's go crazy we're going to do black. Okay. So we are going to be working for a little bit. So I'm going to put black on here. Again, not too thick because I can tell I have a lot of paint on there. Take it off my brayer and then smooth it out on my plate. trying to get uh, as clean a pattern as possible. I feel like we're okay now, all right? So now we're going to put the daisy on here like that. I don't care if it even fills. And we're gonna put the circle on here like that. Pick one, I'm gonna put it on white. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna lift the paint off inside these shapes, okay? Ah. Oh. How do I block this person? Sorry, friends. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is lift inside the stencil so we can build other things in it. It's going to be so fun. Get ready for it. So I am trying to leave the stencil on. Do not lift your stencil off. We're only lifting the pigment from inside, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of that on here too, because I didn't lift it off. Look it, so that's just a hint of it now, right? I'm gonna put it all over there, because I kind of like it. So I took most of the paint off, and then this one's just getting a couple of little hints. So now we're gonna put paint on top, and build some pattern in here, okay? So I'm not taking these stencils off. They stay, okay? We lifted and now we know the background's gonna be black. We're gonna have some hints of black around here. This is totally gonna be up Natalie's aisle. Okay, cleaning the black off my ruler because I want to go in with some bright, fresher colors. And I'm letting that paint just start to dry a little bit so I'm not lifting it, okay? Hi, Lindsay. How are you, sugar tart? How are you, hot muffin? <laughs> Never ever will forget that. Wiping my hand off because I got my pretty manicure. Trying not to ruin it before I have to go on HSN. Okay, probably not gonna happen, but I was planting today, doing all the crazy things. So let's decide what colors. I wanna find my neon. Just a second here. I'm walking away for a minute. Walking away for a minute. Where are you? Here, oh yes. 
get ready for this, okay? So I am gonna put this on. You guys never miss a trick. So I'm gonna put a little pink on here. So this is my um, watermelon sour. I want a little bit of that there, maybe some down here. And I'm gonna put some yellow with it. Okay, yellow with it. Yellow, sure. Okay, a little yellow. Ooh, look at that paint snot. Put a little yellow. That's brayer. Taking some of it off. That's a lot of paint. Really want the pink in there though. And we'll, oh, that's gonna be awesome. Let's put some of that in there. Let's move that around with something else. A little green. Not even cleaning the brayer. Vicky's getting a little wild here. Okay, so I'm going to, before I do anything with this, we're going to put our uh, white sheet of white on here. We're going to lift some of that right off of our art. Okay, I'm going to lift some of this. Not all of it, just rub a couple areas. I'm not rubbing very hard, but I want to lift. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, now... I'm gonna deposit a little bit of blue down here. Oh, I'm gonna go in the mint. Little mint. Way too much paint. A little bit up in the yellow because I know it'll make a pretty color. Gonna lift some of that off. What do we want to layer it on? Anything? Ooh, we'll go on here. I'm going to put a little bit of that on here. Little touch. Oh, put some on something else. This is when we get into the magic. A little bit more. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift these off. Okay. We're letting this dry for a second and we're going to lift that pattern. I'm going to go throw these in the sink because that just a hot mess happened in there. Give me a sec, friends. I'm coming right back. If you've met me before, you know I have to clean this up a little bit. I just can't leave it. I'm coming right back. Thank goodness for a sink in my studio. Okay. I need an assistant who cleans up after me. Doesn't everybody? Some of you have assistant. It's called your kids, right? Or your husband or somebody helps you, right? Do you have that person? What paper is she using? I am using just, I go to the printer store. I go to the printer store and I get a heavy stock printer paper. So I will just go in and see what they use to print and I will just get a heavier stock printer paper. So now I can put white on here and lift all this, but you see that line in the middle? Let's do something funky delicious there with gold. Let's put a metallic on that. So I am going to, we could bubble wrap in there 
or we could put a stencil on top of here and add a pattern, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So let's maybe the stars. Stars could be fun on here, don't you think? If we put some gold stars right in the middle. Or I'm going to put maybe this pattern because there's lots of open pattern here. So I don't necessarily want to cover everything. So what I can do is look at Okay, see that? Put that down there and here. Okay, let's add gold. So I'm blocking this user and they're coming on as 20 different users. Yeah, I call them paper boogers, lots of different things, little snot rocks, whatever you want to call it. So this is my gold glaze, right? So if we put some on here and brayer this on. Okay, here we go. Brayer. So now we will have to let that dry. It's kind of cool. So it just lifted paint off here too. So let's see, can we cover a little bit of gold in there? Maybe, we'll see what we get. Cause I got a line here too now, but it's okay. We're just gonna go with it. Okay, let this dry. Cause if I lift right now, we'll lift all that gold off. And we're gonna lift this with, I think we should go in with white because it's so pretty. Is Kari here? Hello, Miss Kaplan. How are you, my friend? Okay, cleaning up like Vicky does. Because I'm crazy. I'll throw this in the sink. I will not clean it. A total liar you know that I could not do it if you if you know me know me if you know me know me you know I couldn't not do that so there's other things we could do we could take a stamp I could take a stamp right now and I could stamp on that with paint but we also could layer this after the gel plate right what is going on hi Cindy Yes, Kari did shopping today. You couldn't do black paper for this one because you'd lose all the detail because the black paint is on here. You always have to remember that if you want to see what's on there, the color has to show it. But you could totally go with all of those, like the neon, we could do on black next, okay? So we'll do on black next. But I want you for next week to have solids, patterns, Lots of different fun things going on. Let's see, it's not. I'll show you. I'll pick up some of that. A little bit wet. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Get ready for it. But I don't want you to have everything shouldn't look like a Picasso. Because if we're going to cut these apart, we're going to stamp and do things. You want to just pull some different prints that are very simple some that are patterned okay you want a good variety so next week we can stamp we can die cut we can do lots of things so i'm going to go in with white okay i'm going to pick up with white 
Yeah, you could put use a hand fan, whatever you want, but I know it, we're dry. We're good. Just guess depends where you live. I am patient. It doesn't take that long. This is going to be beautiful, though. I already know it. I already know. You wait to see the hints of magic that are going to happen. And I probably will not pick all of this up with one pull. There will still be a hint of it on here that we could pick up in a second pull. Because some of that paint is on the thicker side. but I think it's going to be splendiferous. Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Good night, Gwen. We'll see you later. Thank you, Kelly. It should be fun and approachable, right? There's no reason. All you guys can do the things that I'm doing here. You might not have all the same tools, but if it is not sharp and won't cut your plate and will make an impression, it is perfect for gel plate printing. Um, I do feel it's worth investing in a plate, right? I do feel it's this is a good investment. There are so many things that you can do with this and so much education out there. It is fat. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my goodness, friends. What do you think? So the gold is on here. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do the gold on the black because you can only kind of see it because I put it on the yellow. So it's not enough contrast, but how pretty is that? Hello from Guatemala. How are you? So let's make uh, Natalie super happy and let's do something on black paper next. Isn't it pretty? I tell it, I telling you, I telling you, I could do these all night long. And every single time you pull a print, something magical happens. And sometimes it's completely unexpected, right? Looks like an island fabric print. I love that. Yeah, it's so much fun. I don't care if I ever do anything with these. I'd just frame them. <laughs> I just throw them in a pile and be happy with it. I'm cleaning my fingernails off as I'm going. I need to keep these half decent. I'm probably going to have to go and oh, get them done again. But, okay, let's go and do something that will show up on black. So we're going to add some gold. I'm going to do, um, watch. I'm going to do gold band here. So let's deposit. That's way too much, Vicki. What were you thinking? If I had two plates, I would have put this on a second plate. I'd work on two plates at once. Here, let's just do lots of gold, Vicki. Just do lots of gold on this one. Okay. So I'm going to lift some pattern. So look at stars. will be fun lifted, Vicki. Do you like how I'm referring to myself in? <laughs> like I'm my friend tonight is Vicky. Playing with Vicky tonight. Okay, just a second. Got should have had it open. Should have had it open, Vicky. Should have been prepared for this. So I'm gonna put some gold stars just on here quickly. On black paper. Okay. So let's just pick some of these up quick. And just move that. Let's see if I made a mess or not. <gasps> Lovely! Now I can put some color through this. Go with a little turquoise. And we'll lift that back off. But let's put that in our star pattern. So when we lift that off, we have some pretty blue stars. Lift that. Okay, and now bubble, bubble, bubbles. Put some pink on here too. Put some pink on here too. I'm trying to work while it's still wet, but we could lift with black just as easily. You could stamp with this too on something else, right? Let's 
put some pink and we'll bubble wrap it. Where are you, bubble wrap? If you were Vicky's bubble wrap, where would you be? Okay, I'm going to see if I can pick any of that up with a black. I'm just going to go on the back side of this for right now. Oh my goodness! Yas! And then look at all that hint that's left over. <gasps> See the metallic? Love it so much. I could love that, man. And here's the other thing I'm going to say. If you want a full page of this, you want larger stencils. The black cardstock is on my uh, website, vickybooten.com. So if you look under the gel plate, all the information's there, okay? Just throwing this one in the sink. Oh, you know what? I'm a liar. Let's see if we can pick the star up. See this? I'm going to... So here was the question. What if we put water on it? Can we... Let's see. I'm going to see if I can deposit that onto my plate. And I don't know if Julianne's still here. She asked. If it's really wet. I don't think I can. But I'm going to try. And the other thing, if there's holes on here, you might want to mask them. Okay. So let's do that. Use my paper here. I'm just trying to because it's wet. So it's kind of shimmying and slimming around. See with that water? So I'm trying to pick some of that water up. Because it is a little bit too wet. And now it's shimmying and moving around. But I'm not taking it off. And what color do we want to put through here? Uh, let's go in with our neon-y. I'm really loving that turquoise. Let's do a little turquoise. I'm going to put some texture paste. A little bit turquoise. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to lift what's on that stencil up, too. Putting it on the back side of that. Rub in what's on the stencil. Why waste it? Let's put another color on there quick. Uh, ooh, look at that. Let's try that. And then we're going to lift it and see what we pull. lift this up. Ooh, there's some gold going on here. It's going in the sink. So Julianne, putting the water on there, the only thing that it makes it is kind of like a light body paint. So light body paints are not my favorite on the gel plate. See the beading? So I am going to cheat. And instead of waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to move that around. I'm going to lift it. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to move it because then I'm going to put moisture in my paint. So I'm just going to take some of that up. Light touch. <gasps> Look at that. Pretty. But now I have that hint left on there, not the beadiness. Okay. Let's put our lids on our stuffs. and decide what we're going to do here. Maybe this is going to come off. Let's see. I don't think it will, but we'll try. Nope, but I was able to lift in my solids there. See? Lifting in that red paint. So very fun. We could go in. We could build some more pattern. Let's look. So here, I'm going to talk about this. So words, right? If I go in, you want to look that you want to lift it backwards. 
So I'm going to put my words on upside down. Okay. And I'm going to build some in here to this corner. I'm going to lift this with white. So let's go in with navy. I love this color. This one is called indigo. So let's go and put some words here there. HSN is the home shopping network. But only in uh, the U.S. Oh, friends, this is going to be fun. So I'm going to build this down this whole side. Watch. Okay. <gasps> Look at. So we're building. This is all going to dry before we lift it. Again, we could, though. Oh, if I put it on like this, my words will be upside down. So I'm not doing it. So we just put some more pattern on here. We have stars, we have dots. Let's put another little thing on here. I'm gonna pick some of that wet paint up. So it's just a hint. See, look. Okay, but now, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Can you bring your paint on a mat then put on a stencil, which is Okay, I don't know what you're saying there, Helen. Helene, can you brayer paint on mat, then put on stencil, stencil, and then on the gel plate? Yes. Yeah. So a brayer on my mat. Watch. I think this is what you mean. Let's see if this is what you mean. Let's pick something that would be fun on here. Oh, I haven't used this. Let's go in with this. So I'm going to put brayer on my mat. And what color do I want on here? I want lime green. I'm going to go in with lime green. Okay. So I'm going to brayer on my mat. I think this is what you mean. Brayer on my mat, making it kind of like a stamp pad, right? And then I can take my Okay, and then I can put that on there. I think that's what you meant, right? And now I just put that pattern on the background and I can lift that and do it again. So now there's like a hint of that limey green. I think that's what you meant. I'm gonna wipe that. I put it on my craft mat because of that, right? Very easy to clean up. Let's deposit a little bit more. Give me a second here. Ready? Let's go in with some more of that pink. Vicky loves this one. Okay. There's a couple colors on there, so let's see what we end up getting. My palette knife was not clean. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my cup. And I am going to put some rings on my... There. 
Um, it is because, yes, that if you put it on glass, it would dry. The whole thing, it would never lift off of glass. The magic with the gel plate is I can lift. This whole pattern I'm making, I can totally lift off my gel plate. So you, it is a, a, you need this tool to do these techniques. I did taught a class that I actually need to reteach the technique. Faux gel plate printing, we will have to do that. Remind me, because that could be one of our first little $20 classes. And all you would need are some stuff, tools that you have around home. And I could teach you how to do some fun, fun things. So remind me of that. It is a very fun class. I could teach you faux gel plate printing. Because I love the mixed media. Now this is pretty wet. So we're going to lift some of those like we did before. I'm not pressing hard. I just want it to dry a little faster. So let's lift. And then look what we have. So very fun. Lift some of that. There we go. So still on our background here. Yeah, you know what? And I get it because I'm like that. I'm like, oh, that'll be fun. Let's see. I could make my own gel plate at home. If you treat this well, the investment, like I have this one listed, I think for 30 bucks on my website. Like I put it, even though I'm Canadian, I did not even mark it up the full amount, $30 that you literally take care of this. You can have it forever. You don't need to replace it, right? So I look at it and go just like a good paper trimmer or the other, you'd spend it on a set of stamps and dies. And this thing will be your friend and just keeps on giving. So I think it's fun. One more thing we're going to do. Let's get a pencil. And we're going to put a couple more little dots. What color do I want those dots in? So we have blue. We have some green. We have gold. We have pink. Um, we put some turquoise on here. What other color could we put on here? Let's, what do we have in our bin? We have pink already. Uh, I don't want, how about orange? Let's go with orange. So again, don't put full on paint on here. It'll be too thick, right? So I'm going to do this. That is a little, not all paint is super opaque. That one has a lot of transparency to it. So I'm going to put, mix it with something else because this one will too. Let's decide. What do you have over here, Vicki? Oh, Vicki. Let's put something like that. Some of the pink. Sure. See, very opaque, transparent. There's translucency in that paint. So we'll just make a new color. That is not as light. Okay. Now this paint is very thick, so I will do the same thing I did before and I will lift some of it, okay? But it's kind of my little sparkle sequins I'm creating here. And know when to stop, don't go too crazy. But layered on that black could, or navy could be really fun too. So we will do some business over here. Okay. Lots of paint. Going to let it set up for a second. Don't lift it right away. You'll take it all off. There we go. Uh, yeah, you'd have to make sure there's no hair around it, Melissa, for sure. Because like it's gel, right? So if you put um, hair, if you get cat hair, or dog hair on it, those the pattern it doesn't ruin the plate you just now know that everything you print will have the pattern of wherever the hair cut the plate so let's give it a sec a second why do you say you don't have the touch lee let's talk through this while we're waiting tell me 
if you are doing this at home and you weren't getting the results you want, tell me what's happening so I can talk you through it. Because that's what we're here for Friday nights, right? I want to help if I can. Light touch. Oh, I'm just picking some of that paint up. Okay, so that it will dry and I can lift it. If it's big gobs of paint, it will never dry and I will not be able to lift the pattern. Okay, I'm waiting. Anybody out there who is struggling is like, I can't do this because I feel like, yes, you can. And there's probably a couple little tips I could give you that will help you with your success. Yes, Becky, woohoo! Do you know how happy this makes me? Hi, Vicky and all, it looks so pretty. Hello, Valerie. I was shopping today for our, our costume, I mean our outfits for the Boy George concert. Oh, you're gonna be so excited when I'm gonna dress you up in. <laughs> oh, and that's the other reason I reached out. So I know when you're home, so I can send the 12 million packages I wanna send to your house. And when I can come over and visit before I leave for Utah. I'm leaving for Utah again, my friends, just for three days. So we're just letting this dry so we can lift this. Now we're going to do a ghost print. And I, I can't wait. We're going to do this in white because magic is going to happen right here on this print. I'm going to do this. Would you use texture paste more than paint? No, I would use both. Right? Not, not more one or the other. Any tips for keeping pet hair off? I'm sure many have furry friends. Well, I probably, when I'm gel plate printing, would close the door. The cat or dog would not be allowed in there while I'm doing it. And I would use my lint roller all over while I'm working. Because you, you could keep a, like a, certain, a surface area clean, right? But I just feel when I pull it out, you don't want the cat to, you know, you know, you don't want a cat, the cat to run across. I feel paper and paint matter. I can't pull a good print with my cheap acrylic paints. Got recommendations for both. I agree. I don't know if pa paper doesn't matter. I'd say you can pull a print on any paper. Paint will matter. Your brayer will matter. Um, so if you use, you know, you go in the dollar store and you figure this acrylic will be fine. You won't get the same results using a decent acrylic. I love the Liquitex. You can use your coupons at any of the big box stores. They go on sale all the time. Do you need to have a whole wall of paint like I do? Do No. Pick your favorite colors. Pick basic colors that will work together, right? Do a little bit of color theory. So if you have all primaries to start, they'll make secondaries. But I would say you definitely, your paint does matter. Vicki, getting tired. I will do, okay, see you later, my friend. Uh, so I'm letting this dry. Yeah. Then cover with white paint and lift while uh, it's wet. 100% Brenda. We're going to do a ghost print. So this needs to be dry so that the white will actually act like a binder and lift this all off of the plate. If I put the white on before this is dry, it won't stick to it. Okay. So I will test in a second with a clean sheet of white and we'll see. It very thin layer. If your layer is too thick, it won't lift because you think of that layer as glue. Glue that is going to adhere what's on the plate to your sheet of white paper. If, you're, if your uh, paint is too thick, it will not lift. Hello, friend in Turkey Point. Are you having the best time? Um, and you can use distress inks too. You can use lots of things. I think Tonight, I don't want to overwhelm. There's so many things we could do. I'm going to do a whole class of uh, gel plate printing too. So once you do my first one, we're going to then get into all of the magical things that I can teach you. But this can be completely overwhelming. So I think sticking with basics tonight is very basic, but you can get wow, wow, wow results. And then you can play with different mediums on your plate. You can test lots of different things, right? But... Um, do you use heavy body paints? You can. You can use heavy body paints. You can use um, ones that have more flow, like these. But you know what I'm saying? To start, don't overthink it. 
right? You can totally use fluid acrylics. You're going to get different results with them. Like I said, to start, these are my favorites. I, I just think that everybody can get good results with Liquitex. This is not like artist brand. It's more student brand and it will work beautifully. Uh, what other questions do we have? I purchased a small tube assortment. Yes, Valerie saying small tube assortment of Liquitex, right? And then you can decide um, what you want in the bigger. Could the gel plate be added to the evergreen kit or is it too bulky? It has to be ordered on its own, Brenda, because uh, of weight, right? Then we're getting up in higher weight. But look, there's going to be tons of stuff added, all right? Tons of stuff added. And these sell out all the time. So if you decide wherever you're ordering it from, um, when these are smaller companies that sell these plates, and um, sometimes it takes a couple of months for them to come back into stock. Thank you, Bev. I do. I love it. I could just sit on the whole weekend and just pull prints. I don't really, you don't need to condition your plate. Uh, baby oil, because this is petroleum jelly based. So like, again, Tammy, it's, you don't need to do those things for a long time unless it is showing where I clean it with hand sanitizer. You can, like I, I taught all of that in my class, but you don't even really need to do any of those things. It, it, this is pretty forgiving. They're forgiving. You just can't cut it. Nothing sharp. Okay, um, let me see. Is this how you design uh, your paper? Um, some of them, some of them in my um, ready-made backgrounds can do that. Glitter paste, you need to be careful, right, Becky? It could cut your plate because glitter is like little pieces of like acrylic. Uh, so I would not, I would use glitter place paste on my finished print through a stencil, I wouldn't put it on my plate. Yarn and string, you can use everything that you could imagine on there, but you wanna make sure that it won't cut your plate. These paints are opaque. Uh, oh my goodness, this freaking Bitcoin crap. Just a second. Okay, I think we're ready. Right, so I'll show you. And look at this, we're gonna do something with that too. Look how pretty that is. So let's take a sheet and we will see if the paint's dry. And if it's not, I'm gonna pick up and it should be good now. Okay, so we're ready for the magic. So again, a good, this makes a difference, a good white acrylic paint. If you use a cheaper paint that is not opaque enough, it will not lift your prints. So you, you want something that is pretty opaque and very, very thin, onion skin thin, okay? So I like to kind of move my white paint around and then we will cover the whole plate in a very, do you see how thin this layer is? So some of these thicker bits, probably the whole thing won't pick up but we will get part of it and then we can get it on the next print. Get right on your edges so you get all of that lovely uh, pattern from past prints. And do not let this dry. This layer has to be wet or you're not gonna lift anything, okay? Get your paper on here and then start to give her a rub. I like to get my edges. So what do you guys think? Like how many colors do you think are gonna show up on this one? We did a lot on here. And then it all has to be dry. And then the white paint will act like a glue. I'm rubbing it before I lift. I will always test and see. And this one, I don't think I'll lift everything, but I'm gonna get a lot of it. And then what's left on here is magic, right? Oh, I love magic too, Nancy. And you wait till you see the gold. This print is freaking beautiful. If I do say so myself. Uh, I can't wait. 
Oh my goodness. You ready? I'm just going to go for it. So there's still stuff left on here, but we totally can lift that on the next print. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Totally gold down here from my gold glaze. The navy with the words, but now because we put them on upside down because you're going to lift the mirror, right? The uh, hot pink the little dots, the green in the background, the bubble um, bubble wrap that we lifted. So we deposited, we lifted. How can this not be fun, right? How can this not be fun? Look at that magic. So if we're gonna make a card, I, I totally can cut a couple different pieces for the base of my card. And then we can, you watch, we're gonna do magic things, right? I'm just using, this is, look how thin this paper is. You do not have to spend a fortune. It could be printer paper. I didn't use printer paper, like thin printer paper, because I want to use this on cards. So this is just a heavier weight card stock that I, um, that I bought at the printer store you know, at Staples or whatever you guys have. I just went in and where they have their, uh, it's like a, print stock or whatever, right? Just a heavier white, a uh, heavier one. It could be, totally could be. You see, Pamela, why you could totally do this on a 12 by 12. And there's magic. If you guys were in the um, gel plate class, like magic was made. This is literally just kind of basics. There are so many things you can do. I have created some of the most beautiful artwork doing my gel plate. A question, how do you clean your brayers? Uh, I use, if it really needs a good clean, I will use uh, Murphy oil soap. So I'll just soak them in that and then clean them off. Just watch when you soak it that some of these, the it sits in there. And I was like, something was dripping on my floor where I store my brayers. And I'm like, what the heck? Is there something leaking from the roof? And it was coming from the inside of my brayer. Murphy's oil soap was dripping on my floor. I thought like there was some kind of weird stuff in my ceiling. I've been using Nina 80 pound would be perfect for prints. Um, I use uh, foundations paper. Let's do the next one. Cause I said, I have the, um, the uh, collage paper. So look at, so these have lots of pattern going on already, right? But let's do something fun. So you can use tissue paper. So this collage paper is like a tissue. It's very thin. And you totally can print on this. Right? So it already has that black pattern. You could use the back of it. You could use the front. Like a lot of tissue papers, this has a sizing on the front. So it's kind of shiny. And the back is more porous. I'm going to use the front of this. And I'm going to put... Uh, a couple, let's stamp on it. I'm going to stamp on my, should I stamp on it? Let's decide. Just give me a second here what I want to add. So I'm going to put some of these X and O's on here. I'm going to go in again. I, I don't know. I'm really vibing with the pink tonight. So let's go in with the pink. So let's put a little pink on here. It's a lot of paint, so I'm going to lift some of that off. And let's just put this in my paper towel for now, and then I'll have to run to the sink. It'll stay nice and wet, and that will clean off. Okay, so I want this to be wet because I'm going to put it on the paper. But now I'm going to put some gold on here and we're going to lift that. So let's pick a bigger pattern that will work with that. Just from what I have here. Vicki, you started out with a nice clean work surface and now those days are gone. Butterflies. Because they're free to fly. Fly away. 
Ooh. Here we go. Or gold. Or gold. Okay. I gotta get on here. This pink is probably gonna dry before I get to lift it. Gotta work fast. talking about what papers you can use. I can use tissue paper and we will use this next week as a decoupage. Look at that. Look at that gold. Oh yeah. Love that. So let's keep working this and now we'll put it on paper too. So I'm going to put my butterflies back down and I'm hoping I can deposit some of that gold but then let's put some lime green butterflies down too because we can do whatever we want because we're the boss of our artwork oh yes I did so now we have polka dot butterflies going on here throwing this in the sink because you've met me I gotta Gotta. Oh, my sink is like a cesspool. I'm gonna have to clean that out. A cesspool of bunk and muck. Okay. So now this is wet, right? So let's put a little bit of that green in here. Gonna add some little thingies. Got some gold butterflies, lime green, this pink action going on. We are gonna put a little bit more pattern on here. What else do we want? Oh, I have hearts. I'm gonna put some hearts on here. Okay. I'm gonna put some of this and some hearts. And this will be the last one I'm gonna pull. But like I said, I'm not cleaning my station up because guess what I'm going to be doing this week? I'm going to come and do some more. I'm going to come and do some more. So I'm going to deposit a little bit of, what do I want on here? So I have lime green, pink, and gold. What do we want? Any requests? I'm going to put it like that though. Thing of hearts there. Blue. Purple. Okay, I'm going to go with blue because I read blue first. So pick which blue. Do you want this blue or the navy? How about both? I'm going to do both because I'm wild and crazy like that. Put a little bit of the dark one at the bottom. And a little bit of the light one over here. Not much. And we'll bray her both. So I'm going to start with the light. Brayer that in. And then pick up and take some of that off because that will overpower everything. Put some of that in there. Take that off. Love it. And I'm also going to lift some of that on one of our backgrounds already. Let's put some here. Okay. Because I don't want it to be full on, I want just a hint of color. <gasps> I love it. And then, hmm, let's see. Can I deposit some? We're going to try. Oh, and there's some blue still on here. So let's see what we end up getting. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. There. Okay, and I'm gonna lift some of that off too. Lift it off too. Okay, 
Now I'm done. We're going to let this dry. It's only going to take a minute. I'm going to clean up a little bit and we're going to lift this with white. But see Look how pretty when you lift through a stencil that has the paint on it. Look at you get the outlines and so that's why you should have crap everywhere that you're experimenting with constantly. Crap everywhere is the rule. You should have tons of papers ready to print. This is not like a five paper job, if that makes sense. Like you need a stack of paper. If you did my gel plate printing class with me, uh, when we were done, I don't know, We, had, I'm sure some of you guys had over 100 prints, maybe hundreds of prints, because it was, I think, four weeks we did that class, and every week was a new lesson, I think two lessons a week, and we just ended up with so many prints, right? You have to have crap everywhere. It really is the magic, and that's when those carts, right, the carts are so fun easily over 200 right easily because there's so much magic going on and then look at this is how i play i like to clean as i go because here's the thing is when i need to find it if i tidy up and i need to find the paint and i usually put my paint in my bin with um by color so that all the blues are together all the greens are together and then when i need to find my things like oh my goodness, this makes me happy. That color palette right there makes me happy. Whenever you're ready, right, Marsha? Because here's the thing is like, this is almost like the little thing where we talk about this is maybe why you want to take that class. Because when we do part two, you couldn't do part two without part one unless you've been gel plate printing for a long time and you know all the basics. Because I wouldn't start in at like the part two or part two until I know the basics of gel plate printing and I've practiced because there's so much to learn. I just want to see how dry it is and if we're ready. I say I'm going to go for it. Okay, we're going to cover this in white. And we're going to lift it. Could you go in another color? Yes. But keep this in mind. So if I went in here with yellow or with pink, it's going to change what the colors are. Because then pink and blue, whatever color, pink and green, whatever color you get. So that's why I tend to just pick it up in white. Because I got I already got lots of magic going on here, right? Yeah, you do need for cleanup, right? The bucket of water or a sink. So like uh, Tim talks about his uh, lasagna pan. So just those like turkey pan that you buy at the dollar store because you need to with any, that's not enough paint with any mixed media, you need to make sure that you can keep your stencils, all of those things clean while you're working. Everybody's different. I think Tim's like me. He cleans, he likes clean stuff. Um, Everybody does things differently. Some people love the mess. That is part of their whole process. Nothing wrong with it. You do whatever works for you. My thought process with keeping the stencils clean, again, is just for the integrity of the pattern. But I will have some stencils. I don't care if they get dirty that are kind of my mixed media stencils. And then, well, I'm a liar. I, they're all clean. Did you see? I just totally lied. I'm like, I'm trying to be cool. Right, I'm trying to be cool. No, all of mine is, uh, sorry, just a second. Um, all of mine are <laughs> clean stencils. Did you see me trying to be all cool? Like, oh, I have a stack of dirty ones. I don't have a stack of dirty ones. The only dirty ones I have are from class, right? When other, when there other people have been using my um, stencils and they don't clean them up. Those are the only dirty ones that I have. Oh, I think this is going to be fun. So you just got to make sure now that paint starts to dry and absorb into your sheet that you have on here before you lift. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. And why do we use white? I'm using white paper. So I'm lifting with white 
because it looks like it's all printed right on the paper. Stains are different from dirty, yeah. Stains are different from dirty, 100%, Helene. Oh, it's so pretty, friends. So, look at the gold on there. That gold glaze is magic on here. And then you can see it in the background with the little green butterflies. Very pretty, right? Very pretty. So we have that pattern. Here is the tissue paper that we printed. You could use the front or the back depending on the pattern you want. What else do we have? Prints, prints, prints. There's the black one that we just were kind of cleaning the stencil. Look at those little gold stars on there. I have them laying all over here. So let me show you the thing that I have. Oh, there's that one. Very fun. Um, this one was the sheet that we kind of just cleaned. So do you see the water dots on here? It's because it was pooled on the plate. So then we got this kind of watermarking business going on. We have, oh, the black one. I love this one. I love this color combo with the orange. I want to do, I'm going to, okay, I'm a liar. So I'm going to grab one 12 by 12 stencil and that's what I'm going to finish tonight. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more with black for you, Natalie. And then see, we want some that are just simple because don't forget, we're going to stamp and stuff on here. So you want, when you have your stack for next week, some should be patterns, some should be very simple because you want different layers. Okay, so this is what I did tonight. I love this. Like, look it. I'm going to use this with the next stencil. Oh, look it. See, just that hint. What a beautiful background for stamps. So if you're gonna use, you watch, you watch. Oh, and I still have this possibilities one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a large stencil, get ready for it, okay? And that's how I'm gonna finish off tonight. I'm gonna go get a full either eight and a half by 11 or 12 inch stencil. So I have brand, a whole whack of new stencils that are gonna hit my shop as soon as I can get them up there. So be ready for it. Let's find something. There are bins over here, are bins and bins and bins of things that need to go into the store. Let me grab something special. I'm just going to do this. This is the one I'm going to work with. Okay. Cause we can do some magical things. I want to create a whole background. So I really like the black. So do you want me to use black or Navy? First person who says it, it's what I'm going to use black or indigo. I think, I think it was Veronica who asked if you could use vellum paper. Uh, you could try. It should work. It's acrylic paint will stick on almost everything. Black. So Valerie said black. It was the first one. So Valerie is here. How about? Watch. I'm going to use both. That should make everybody happy. Okay. Black. Back in black and indigo. And that black is going to negate everything. <laughs> that is for reals. It's going to be mostly black, my friends. 
Okay. Now I'm going to put this down like that. Okay. We're going to take a sheet and I'm going to lift, not rubbing hard because I still want a halo of black in there. So some of them I'll rub hard and some just light. And then let's test because we're going to build a pattern. <gasps> oh my goodness, already. Just look at that. Okay. Love it. Do not lift your stencil. Okay. So let's go through and do some fun things now because it's all about fun things tonight. Love my gob of, look at, that's just so much easier. So we are going to build pattern inside of these circles. I'm going to show you that. Oh, look at, I got to get some of that out. I was cheating. But I love that. We'll leave lots of black there and that hint of black. And we actually want that black to kind of dry because I want to keep the colors I'm going to put on top of it really nice and crisp. So if I start to put, say, yellow in some of these and this paint isn't dry underneath it, it will be dirty yellow. And I don't want dirty yellow. I want crisp yellow. But I feel like we're good. Ready? So I'm going to go in here now and I can put pattern through pattern. So I'm going to put some pattern. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to lift and deposit. Lift and deposit. So... I'm going to go in with lime green to start. I'm going to put some lime green down here. I'm going to put a little bit there. I'm going to go in with turquoise. Oh, yes, delicious turquoise. And I'm going to go in with pink. This pink, Barbie pink. This is what I'm going to start with, okay? So let's deposit some of that turquoise. Let's get that. Or this is not turquoise, Vicky. This is lime yep, green. Let's put some of that in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's put some of this blue in here. That's a lot of blue, Vicky. Let's put some of that blue in there. Yeah. Now clean the brayer off so that's pink and not purple. So you could have a second brayer, but I don't want, I want that pink to be pink. So sorry for the sausage arms. Here we go. Okay. Now, ooh, yeah. Put some of that pink in there and we can make purple where it blends in to some of that blue. Okay, good. Okay, now we can go in for some of this and we're gonna do this and we're gonna take our sheet and we're gonna lift some of that pattern through these, okay? And let's start with that. Let's start, ooh, let's lift. What else could we do? Bubble wrap, let's go in and work. If you had a stamp, you could go in with your stamp and you could lift around there. I just don't want to leave one big solid gap. So we can do that. We'll deposit and lift. Okay. I want to lift some more in that one. Lift some more. Okay. So now what color can we put on top of here that we think will go nice and contrasty? Okay. Do you like that? That I just keep saying K. Okay. So now we're going to put a color through here that will contrast yellow. I'm going to go in with yellow. Okay. Yellow. Lift a little bit of it because it's very a lot. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take that off. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more, but I'm also going to take some of that off the stencil. Look at Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 Okay. Let's go in with something else now. We're almost done. Okay. Seriously. <gasps> now, you want to keep in mind, I don't want to make mud. So I'm not going to go in here with a lot more color. If you like earthier be prepared to. It will wash off, but you're going to be messy. But I don't want to lift everything here. But I'm going to put some little details now in here. So let's pick a stencil that has detail. And we can put pattern in those details. So I want it to contrast with what I have going on. I have a floral here. Let me find that. Oh. So look at, I can make a flower right in here. So we're going to do that in there. So you could totally mask that, right? If you wanted to stay just in here, you would punch um, a shape around here, and then you could put just your floral in there. Okay. I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to get it in there. What do I want? Do I want gold? Oh, we could add some metallic now. How about that? Has to be gold. Silver would be good on black, but silver won't show up, I don't think, on white Melinda. We'll do it. But for now, I'm going to put a little gold on here. But, right, silver is pretty close to white, so it would be kind of hard. So let's see. So I'm just trying to keep this contained in that circle. So that's a lot, right? That's a lot of pigment. So instead of bringing it all and lifting it, what we'll do is lift it a little, ooh, and lift it in there. Oh my goodness, do you see that? Freaking awesome, man. Put another one. Look at it. And then leave it alone, Vicki, or you're not going to have any gold left. Love that. Okay. And now let's put another one somewhere. Oh, here, maybe. So I'm going to put gold oops careful look what i did be careful let's put a little silver we'll try we're going to try with the silver okay so that's gold and silver right now Silver and gold, silver and gold. I'm going to lift a little bit of it off, but I'm going to leave most of it. Just a little. Mm, delicious. Okay, leaving that. It's there, and let's put another silver one on here. Right here, a full-on silver. Got to clean my brayer, though, because it is contaminated. Texture paste and glazes, right? You guys have had them. How do they find us? These people who just keep posting on here, this Bitcoin, whatever. How do they know you're on here? Is it just smart technology where they can search and they know what's going on? Just curious how that works, how they know. I want some leaf on that one. Let's put, oof, silver's nice, brand new one. Don't move. Okay. 
here we go. Let's try that silver. Actually, I'm going to try it right into these two circles. Let's carry some up here, too. Okay. Love it. I feel like I'm going to put some color through that gold, and then we're good. We're lifting this sucker. So throw this in the sink. These are my paints. So these are Vicki Booten Creative Effects. There is silver, there's gold, and there's iridescent. And just so you know, friends, when these are gone, they're gone. They are discontinued. So it is a sad day, but they are done. I've ordered every all the stock that I can, anything that's left in them. But now they are discontinued at American Crafts. So once they're gone, they're gone, and we'll have to find new ones to use. Okay, here we go. So see that flower in the bottom corner, the gold one? So see how some of the pigments lifted out of it? Because I lifted that. This is a solid one. But you're, you're going to see, I want to put some color on top of that one. I just want to make sure it's dry. Look at this one. That was just my cleaning sheet that I was just lifting. <gasps> How pretty is that? Look at the back. So just let me see. That's dry. Dry. I don't want to lift that. I think. Okay. Let's put some of Natalie's favorite color on there. I think that will accent nicely with that little flower. And I'm gonna brighter that through just so when we lift the gold, that pink is gonna highlight in there, not just white. I'll put a hint of it there too. And maybe a hint of it there. And a hint of it there. So I'm depositing some color that when we lift the white, it's not just going to be white. So now we're just being super creative here. I used to have a rose gold, but you can make rose gold gold. All you do have to do is add pink paint, right? And there's your rose gold. I did have a rose gold and they cleared it out on me. Literally, I think in two months, That pink was the most expensive one. It's very pretty. Okay, I don't understand how when you lift this, it's not just going to be the black and indigo you put down first, hiding everything else. Where It will be, Becky, underneath, right? See, that's going to be black. But these aren't because we're going to lift it with white. But I am going to put some hints of, of color in here. Because these are, um, this is going to be very pretty with that hint of pink. Let's put a little pink in that one with the silver. Okay. So I'm going to put it on here so I can be very selective of where I roll it. And then just deposit some pink up in that corner. A little bit with the yellow on there a little. Just some little, little hints of pink. Oh, it's going to be so pretty, friends. Okay, leave it alone now, Vicki. Leaving it alone. So what's going to happen now is I'm taking this off. Do you see it already? Can you see it already? Oh, my God, it's so pretty. Got to let this dry. Let this dry. We're going to lift it with white, and it's going to be, oh, so good. I think this one will blow your minds. Okay, there. Here's what I have to say. Okay, now we can talk for a minute. So watch, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. You ready? Here I come. I'm coming in. I'm going to talk to you for a minute. Hi. 
the lights over here so you can't see me. Hi, how are you? So here's what you want to think about now with this. Every layer you put on, the first layer that's on your plate is what's going to be on top because you're building all the layers. You put white down when you lift it. The first layer is the top layer. The last layer is the background. Does that make sense? Because everything is reversed when you flip it. Um, it's a piece of paper in your time. So do they all need to be perfect? Absolutely not. You will learn more by practicing and playing and learning through, what is, I just lost the words, trial and error. But it's not even trial and error. There's no error involved in this. Error is where the magic happens, right? So it's literally, when we started this tonight, I'm sure some of you who stuck around were like, okay, whatever, gel plate, I don't think I'm gonna like this. Why I love it is that we're doing all of these layers on one thing right? It's all on this one thing. But every piece I pull off the cleaning sheet as we're building this is magic. Sorry, I look really dark because the light's behind the computer. This is all meant that you literally, if you have a whole day that the family's gone somewhere, you're all by yourself. I would set all of my printing stuff up and I would have a stack of paper like this and I would just pull prints and not everyone, not everyone should be what we've done right now, because I don't think you can learn everything from these super detailed ones. You really need to have pages all over and just pull, pull, pull the prints. Okay, I'm flipping again. Trial and magic. I love it. Trial and magic. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull the, 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 the thing in, this thing. I'm so excited. I can't even speak. In tighter. Can you see what's going on here? Look how much fun that is. So let's put the light back on here so you can see. Um, I, If you want to see what it's going to look like once paint is dry, flip the plate over. You totally could do that, right? But I just feel like just, just be patient. It's going to be magic. Okay, I'm ready, I think. I feel like we're ready. So let's do our cleanup because I am done now. With this one, we're done. Some points, right? Vicky's got to, she could go all night. And you know, Friday nights are never like an hour long, man. It is so much fun. Ah, stop it with the Bitcoin crap. I've blocked that user 12 times, but they have different things they come in. I love Funko Pops too, right? I love them too. My kids don't have any of them. Uh, so could you lift it with black paint? No. Okay, Melinda, if I lift it with black paint, it will negate everything on here. You might see some of it, but you won't see any of this. It would just be the circles. And here's what I'd say. Try it, right? Just try it. I've blocked that user like 25 times, Natalie. It's very annoying. Just go away. I don't understand people these days. So we'll show you all the things we made, but this one I'm super excited about. Okay, gonna get my piece of paper ready. All my mess is cleaned up. I won't even have a lot that I have to take care of tonight. My brayers are clean. So we just need to put our white on. Very good. And I'm going to leave this here so I can do some more of them this weekend. Hi, B. How are you? So we have built this lovely background. We'll test it, right, to see if it's dry. Dry enough. And now we're going to lift it with white. Like I said, if you want to try something different, lift with whatever color you want. Go for it, right? Here we go. And that's why when I list, I have a whole bunch of 12 by 12 stencils that I'm going to be putting. I have eight and a half by 11 because that's when the magic, and you want some with big open spots so you can layer in them. 
Okay. Did I get enough paint in that corner? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I cleaned up my clean sheet. Here it is. Got to get that on while it's still wet, right? Okay. Let's go for it. We ready? Hi, Connie. How are you? Welcome. We meet every Friday night. We do paper crafting. We do mixed media art. We do card making. We do scrapbooking. We talk a lot. Some people like that. Some people probably mute me because <laughs> it's mutiny. But um, we have a lot of fun here. We're on Facebook and YouTube. My name's Vicki. Nice to meet you. Our community is the Vibu Crew. We have a lot of fun, right? Because art should be fun. Crafting should be fun. And the best part of it is the community and connecting for me. And um, I love what I do. And I'm going to love what this looks like when we, oh my goodness. Are you ready for it? Get ready. The roll off sheet. I know it's fun, right? Get ready for it. Here we go. My goodness. I love this. So the gold is in here with the pink. The silver is there, but it's very hard to see. It's not. This would show up better on black or on a simpler background. This one is everything to me. That right there, I am going to do a whole sheet just like that. Oh, my goodness. Do you see what I'm saying, friends? I love this. I'll take pictures of these, okay? Because um, I don't want to cut it all apart and do things with it. I would like you guys, I will take pictures and I'll do maybe a reel on my, uh, YouTube, on my Instagram. So we'll do something where I can just do reveals so you guys can have something that you can see. And I'll post finished pictures in the Vicky Booten Creative Community page on Facebook. So if you're new... And you want to see more of what we're up to and you're not on there already. Um, Natalie, hopefully you'll put a link up for us. Vicki Booten. Creative community on Facebook is a private group. And I will share photos of all of these finished. Right. Sec. I'm going to take the camera down. Okay. And I'll do a close up of this one. So excuse the mess all around me. That hopefully... You guys can see what that looks like. Fun, right? Here's the cleanup sheet that you guys were digging. Okay, so let me set it up so I can flip the camera. You're going to see scary parts of Vicky, but here. Hi. So I can put this one away. Hello, friends. What do you think? Let me put the light back on me. I'm going to scare you guys with my big sausage arms and everything. But hi, I told you I was working all day, right? What is that stencil called? It's in my, on my site. I think it is the Dean, not Dina, Diane Reevely one or Dina Wakely is what I would believe. It's on my website. If it's not on there, it, I don't, but I think that's what it is. It's, if you look that up, you'll find it. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. Let's look again at what we made. This one, beautiful, right? Love that. Love that. I love this so much. Everything's backwards. I need to recreate that bigger. The pink, the yellow, the purples is everything to me. That is everything. And look at. See, some of these simple ones, this one I love with that, just that hint. You don't want everyone to be a super Picasso, right? Hi, Carissa. How are you? So, yes, friends, please, if you're going to be shopping and you're not shopping on VickiBooten.com, just follow any of my share sale links that are connected to the description of the video. 
because it costs you nothing, but it certainly helps after, right? We spend all these hours together. Uh, and if you're going to go shop, please click on my links and um, I get a little bit of the uh, whatever you purchased back and it costs you nothing, but right? It's a nice little payment for these Friday nights. If you haven't already, thumbs up the video and make sure that you like on Facebook. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribed, right? Tap on that bell so that you uh, don't miss out when I go live. But look at how fun. So here's the plan. Next week, I'm going to make a couple more. We're going to make cards out of these. I might make cards and one pocket page insert. So if you are definitely not a card maker and you're a memory keeper, scrapbooker, you can do something with it. But we're going to do more with this. We're going to have another night where we do more gel plate printing and we take those backgrounds and we're going to put them, we can put them in art journal. We can do a scrapbook page. Let me know in the comments after the video is done, please post on the YouTubes uh, what you'd love to see. Like if you love the gel plate printing and what you'd like to see me make with the prints or what you uh, like to do with the prints, I'd love to hear from you. I The feedback is nice, right? You guys watch and it's always nice to um, get the feedback of what you'd like to see more of. I will be back next Friday at eight o'clock and we're gonna make cards from these prints and it's gonna be so much fun. So thanks as always for joining me friends. If you have any questions, post them um, and have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you next week, right? See you later guys, that was fun, right? I wanna know what your favorites are. So I enjoyed that, but now time for me to go to sleep. It's Devin's birthday on Monday. So uh, we are having a pool party and um, I have tons of cleaning still to do all the stuff, right? To get these uh, kits ready for you guys and all the rest. So if you need to find me, you know where I'll be working as I always am. So we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend. If you're watching after the fact, thank you for joining me whenever you could make it here. Remember, like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment on the regular comment section. I love it when I hear from you guys. We'll see you guys later. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye, my friend.